Listen as I read this article, and I'm going to give you guys my opinion on what I think, and I would like for you to share with me after I give this game. Indiana State Police have taken a man into custody in connection with the 2017 deletions of two girls, authorities said Monday. State Police Superintendent Doug Carter announced that Richard Matthew Allen, 50 years old, was arrested last week on two counts in the um, tragedy of Liberty, German, 14, and Abigail Williams, 13, in a case that has garnered nationwide media attention. Williams and Gernon, uh, Ger German disappeared on February 13, 2017, while hiking along of the historic trail routes in Delphi, Indiana, about 70 miles north of Indianapolis. Their bodies were discovered the following day in a wooded area roughly a mile from the spot where they were last seen, and both deletions were ruled as swamicides. News of the arrest comes after investigations hoping to identify a suspect reviewing thousands of leads without success over the course of nearly six years. I'm proud to report to you that an arrest has been made, said Indiana State Police Superintendent Doug Carter at the news conference Monday morning. Thanks to literally hundreds of media outlets that have been steadfast in reporting and keeping the memories of Abby and Libby front and center. They say thank you to the hundreds of media outlets that have been keeping people up to date, but I'm pretty sure that nobody in this comment section knew about that. So what I will tell you guys, man, is there is tragic things happening every day. Now, this happened in 2017, but there are tragic things happening every day. But a lot of people in society seem to only react to situations like this when it's a celebrity. This happens every single day. And the lesson that you guys can get out of this is these two ladies, when they went hiking, uh, when they were going hiking along a historic trail route in Indiana, they never expected anything like this to happen. Um, and there's some people, mainly along the southern part of the United States, that move defensively. They have something ready for any situation. And people around the rest of the country want to judge them for this and that. We shouldn't have this. We shouldn't have that. Dude, it's better to have protection than to be compromised without it because in a situation like this, these two young ladies were just hiking a trail. When they walked out the door to go hike and just enjoy nature, they never would have thought that this Travis uh that this 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 tragedy would have ever occurred. And who knows if they had this or they had that, maybe they could have defended themselves. But they couldn't. And unfortunately, they're no longer here. And that's what I would say, man. The most dangerous is attack. The most dangerous of attacks is a surprise attack because it's unexpected and when you least expect it. So it's better to be prepared for anything than to be prepared for nothing. Um, wow, man, I could just imagine the parents that got the phone calls. Hey, your daughter this, your daughter that. They were hiking and now they, this happened and we don't know who did it. And for six, nearly six years, not knowing who did this to your children, dude, People go to the movie theaters to see Michael Myers. People go to the movie theaters to see Jason Voorhees. We literally have the embodiments of these types of people out there in society, and some of them haven't even been served justice yet. It's actually crazy when you think about it. But I'm telling you, all you got to do is type on a keyboard, and you'll find out what's going on around your country. You see, we need more mindful people. We need more mindful people that are willing to see what's going on in the world so they can give a voice to these situations so that everybody in the community can come up with a solution. Not the celebrities, homie, because nines out of ten, the celebrities ain't even connected to this type of stuff. It's only the rappers that go out like this. We need to worry about the people in the community, the ones that might not have a million or ten million followers or ten million dollars, but guess what? They see what goes on out there in society. They see the destruction firsthand. Very unfortunate, man, and I would like to send my condolences to their family. Uh, suffering loss is never easy, and it never wanes. So with that being said, I'm going to go in and turn the comment section on, and if you guys have anything to say pertaining to the topic, now's the time. And if you would like me to stay and talk about this a little bit longer, for five more minutes, uh, and talk about whatever you want to talk about, I need to see 500 roses within the next 45 seconds. But if not, that's completely fine. Make sure you guys tap the follow on the bell button. That way you can stay notified of any content I have coming forward. Comment section is now on. 2K likes. Yep, shout out to everybody that got those likes up. Whew, man. So you guys got 45 seconds of countdown, so say whatever you would like. That was very unfortunate. That was... Uh, got about 35 more seconds here, guys. Oh, the allergies, guys. Ugh. And about 25 more seconds to say whatever you would like to. Make sure you tap the follow on the bell button if you haven't already. I will be back with another episode.
Got about 20 seconds. You going to the gym soon? Uh, I was actually thinking about it, yeah. I said I need to go hit legs and back today. Probably going to be going to the gym soon. I don't know yet. Might get a little bit more sleep. I only had like two and a half hours of sleep. and I just woke up early and I feel like, man, I might as well do something productive. And then the chicken broccoli soup at uh, Subway was calling my name. <laughs> so with that being said, man, I don't see any more comments. So I hope you live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. With that being said, I will be right back with the next episode. Da, na, na, na. <laughs>